Aloha, my name is Adam Fox. I'm Tata Linkushin. And today we're going to be talking about getting the oops out of spreadsheets from the Journal of Accountancy article in October 1999 by Franz Hermann. And um, basically what we're going to be going over is uh, how to create a self-auditing system for your Excel spreadsheets. Um, just because in accounting we're going to be prone to make mistakes on, a, on our Excel spreadsheets and so creating auditing tools inside of Excel will kind of help us to backtrack our steps so that we're not uh, making critical mistakes that will end up messing things up um, later on in our spreadsheets. All right, now we have a spreadsheet here, a date, invoice, and amount number. And so now we, I'll show you how to use the validation, data validation tools. So to do that, now we want to look at uh, this uh, month, October 2011, the invoice numbers. So first we need to put the correct date. So to do that, we have to select uh, the area and to go to the data ribbon. And then under data ribbon, we can select the data validation and data validation. Okay, so you have uh, this screen, the setting, there's a three one input method and error. So in the setting, we're going to choose our value. We're going to, since it's a date, we can choose the date. And between, we want. October 2000, the first hour. Okay, we're going to October 1st. And then end date is October 31st. Input message. The title is date. And the input message we're gonna um, please um, enter correct on um, current month is more. And the error. And so that when you put the um, wrong month, it will show you the, the stop or warning. You can choose the three of those, but we're going to choose the stop one. So when you put the wrong um, month, uh, it will uh, uh, not allow you to go further. And then title is date. And then error is please. Error message. We can do please. Enter correct month. Okay. 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 And then right now you can see the message. And now we can check it if it's um, October 3rd, 2011. It will allow you to go further. But if you choose October, Second in 2011, it tells you the AS stop and you cannot uh, enter the wrong one. Okay, invoice number. And the invoice number is kind of same. We're still going to use the data validation um, for this uh, tab and the setting. The invoice number, we want to use the whole number. It cannot be different. So between we want to choose uh, between 10 to 15. So minimum is uh, 10 and maximum is 15. And then input message, we're going to write invoice number. 
and then input method is please um, enter numbers So if you write the uh, other than 10, between 10 to 15, it will ask a lot of guys you can say the stop sign. And the title is, again, in voice, number, and then error message is, Okay, you can hit enter and then you can test it too. If you put 10, it allows you to go further. If you put 16, okay, sorry. Okay, reason why it didn't work before, like when we put the 60 number and before we did, we forgot to highlight this uh, cell. So just remember before you do the use the data validation, and you need to highlight it. So we we fix the problem now. Now we can test it. If you put the 16, so that's the wrong number. So we have to put the the number between 10 to 15. Okay, and just to kind of wrap things up now, there's just a couple other um, auditing tools that we wanted to show you here in Excel. Um, so what we have right here is a basic balance sheet, um, and we're going to just show you a couple things that we can use to uh, trace um, some of the mistakes that we may have made. Um, the first uh, thing that we're able to do is if you come down here and just click here somewhere in our, um, in our total assets, uh, we can hit the trace precedence button, and it'll show us a row of all of our uh, the precedents that we have. Um, and then to take that off, and that will show some of the others there. Okay, so that'll just kind of show us the different precedents that we have. Okay, and then to just to get rid of those precedents, if we need to, just hit the remove arrows button, and it'll take it back to normal. Okay, now the last thing that we can do is we can show the. Uh, um, the formulas that were used to calculate the numbers in our spreadsheet here. And the way that we do that, we just uh, go so click somewhere here in our balance sheet and then do control tilde, which is the button just to the left of the one button on your keyboard. And you can see all of the different um, formulas that pop up here. And that's just kind of a toggle button. So if we push control tilde again, it takes it back to normal. It just goes back and forth. Um, and so that's our video, and thanks for watching.